Hi, I'm Stuart from the Norfolk Honey Company and welcome to an alcoholic beekeeping basics. So we're fast approaching mid-November, it's about seven or eight degrees outside, it's getting colder. There's not a lot to do with the bees now, they're all tucked up ready for winter and our mind starts to um, turn towards Christmas and beyond. And with Christmas in mind, I thought now would be a great time to have a bash at making some honey ale. So I've popped down to the local um, brewery shop and um, picked up a kit to do a very basic ale at home and I thought I'd share that with you today. So I got talking to the guy in the shop and uh, it seems that all you have to do to make a honey ale is to take a very basic kit and um, just add honey. Uh, you have to add sugar normally uh, so this kit requires a kilo of sugar so I'm just going to replace that with honey and um, so we'll see what we get. Hopefully we'll have a, a barrel of very nice ale to drink uh, close to Christmas. Okay so this is the kit. Uh, it's uh, Brewer's Choice by Brew Packs, and it's called a traditional IPA so hopefully um, once we get this up and running we'll just add the honey to it and this will turn into uh, a very nice beer. It's um, complete as it is, it's got everything that you need apart from the sugar and water um, so hopefully it's not going to be too complicated because I don't actually make a great deal of beer so uh, let's give it a go. Okay so we've boiled the water and now we have to drop these tea bags in and leave them in for 20 minutes. So it looks like there's two lots of different grains and these look like they're probably hops. Just give them a little stir. Uh, you can see the flavours starting to come out of these uh, giant tea bags already. If this is your first time stopping by, you're very welcome. Uh, if you've not yet subscribed, then please do consider subscribing. We're currently um, uploading three videos a week, one on Sunday, one on Wednesday and one on Friday. If you're not a beekeeper but thinking of getting involved in beekeeping then our Wednesday evening slot is the one for you. It's our getting started slot and I'm basically showing a beginner's course uh, from the very start, introduction to beekeeping. Um, so that will be the course for you. Fridays we're doing our microscopy series of videos and uh, on Sunday evening it's, uh, it's this kind of video, a beekeeping basics, which uh, at the moment with no bees out because it's so cold, um, we're diverting to some other interesting topics related to beekeeping. Reading the instructions I've now got to boil another two litres of water and then put these bags back in again. So hopefully this won't all end in disaster. Um, hopefully this is wide enough and we can just pour it straight. So this bin has been washed and sterilised so hopefully um, no bugs in there can, uh, can spoil the brew. Okay so in we go again for the next step. So this is stage two. Okay so that's the second batch so we'll just take these giant tea bags out again. Okay so the tea bags are in again to brew up the next two litres. Uh, but I'm sure you don't want to sit watching that for 20 minutes so I'm going to fast forward it but while I'm fast forwarding it why don't you hit the subscribe button or maybe give me a thumbs up and uh, hopefully we can get this done and then I can show you the next step. Okay so that is the final 20 minute session so we're going to take out our tea bags And this is the honey. I'm putting in 1.2 kilos of honey. And I'm hoping that that will be approximately equal to one kilo of sugar. 
and I'm going for a, a light beer uh, as a first first beer. I don't really know how this is going to turn out, so I'm just going to follow a very simple recipe. So we'll just mix that around. <coughs> we'll just dissolve all of the honey into this liquor. And then we'll pour this into the fermenter. So this is the bag of malt extract that we're going to put in. So I'm just going to cut the corner off and, and pour it straight in. And then we have to stir it to dissolve it into um, what we've already got here. Well that had the potential to go very wrong, but um, it looks okay. We didn't spill too much. So now we have to stir this uh, into uh, what we've already got in here until it's completely dissolved. So it actually mixed quite quite easily in the end. It only took maybe four or five minutes to thoroughly mix it. So that's now ready to be topped up with cold water up to five gallons. So I got a little bit excited and put a little bit too much water in. There's probably an extra pint in there, but it's just over the five gallon mark. So um, that's now ready to have the uh, yeast added, but I need to just check the temperature to make sure that it's uh, not too hot before the yeast goes into it. So the temperature is at 22 degrees. So I'll just double check the instructions to see if that's okay. So the instructions say anything between 20 and 25 degrees centigrade is fine. So now we can sprinkle in the yeast. And give it a final stir. So now what we need to do is to put the top on um, and, and just make sure no air can get in but that the carbon dioxide can get out as it starts to ferment. And I also have a warming belt that I can attach to it, so that will maintain the temperature in there and help with the fermentation. So that's it, let's see what happens next. So this is the heat belt, and that's providing a little bit of warmth to help the yeast to grow and uh, develop. And then if we look inside, and there you can see that the beer is fermenting really well and there's a, a good cover of yeast bubbles all over the surface so um, and it smells great it smells like it should it's uh, the office now has a very nice beery smell to it so that's good news so we'll cover this up and leave it for seven days and then I'll come back and uh, hopefully we'll be able to show you the next stage so that's my first uh, attempt at making a honey ale. Fingers crossed that that'll go well and uh, I'll show you the results of how we get on perhaps in, uh, in the next video. I hope you enjoyed that. Give it a go. Let me know how you get on or if you've already made some honey ale. Uh, I'd love to hear from you to know exactly what you did and what makes a, a good honey ale. If you haven't already subscribed then please do. We've got lots more videos coming up and uh, there'll be some getting started videos on a Wednesday and our microscopy series running on a Friday. This video along with all the other beekeeping basics videos goes out on a Sunday evening uh, and I'd love to have you along to share the journey. Please do subscribe and thanks for watching.